Hi guys, um, today I show you how to evaluate the function or trigonometric function given uh, one of the trigonometric ratio. So for given problem, we have um, cosecant okay, co x equal 4 square root 3 over 3 and cosine of x less than 0 okay question is evaluate the function below which is tangent of x so based on the given um, information, you have to find tangent of x. So first of all, if we know cosecant, okay. So if we know cosecant of x equals four square root three over three, that means we know sine of x equals three over four square root three okay because uh, cosecant of x is reciprocal trigonometric function of sine of x so now on um unit circle i'll sketch it so i have which quadrant we will have positive sine of x um we will have positive sine of x in quadrant one and quadrant number two so one and two so we have one of these and one of these okay all right and then um next we can use the next piece of information we know which is cosine is less than zero so between these two triangles which one give us cosine of x is less than zero um in another word which one give you the coordinate of x is negative which is quadrant number two so that means we don't take this triangle on the right side okay so we only find the angle of the triangle on the left side so now based on our information sine of x equals 3 over 4 square root 3 um, back to our prior knowledge we know that sine of x equals opposite over hypotenuse at the same time we know it's equals to 3 over 4 square root 3 that means our opposite side will be 3 and then the hypotenuse will be 4 square root 3 okay and in order to find tangent, which is the, the question asked, find the tangent of x. In order to find tangent of x, you do need to know the adjacent side. So if you already know hypotenuse, you already know opposite side, how do you find adjacent side? We use Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So now, in order to find this side right here, adjacent, we use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, but Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then we know that a squared is, can be adjacent or opposite. Either one is fine. So I have 3 squared plus b squared is my adjacent square equals c squared is my hypotenuse 4 square root 3 squared. Okay, now I will do the math here. 3 squared is 9 plus a square equals um, 4 square is 16 square root 3 square is 3 which is 48 so I can replace this one by 48 okay and then a square equals 48 minus 9 which is 39 and then take square root on both sides we have a equal plus or minus square root 39 um, and when you when you take this 
go back to the triangle we have on the left side because it belongs to the second quadrant therefore our adjacent will be negative so adjacent will equal to negative square root 39 okay All right now we can find our tangent so tangent x equals um opposite over adjacent and then we plug in what we have tangent of x equals opposite which is 3 and then adjacent which is negative square root 39 okay and we don't stop right there because we have to rationalize our de denominator so then we multiply top and bottom by square root 39 so that give us negative 3 square root 39 over 39 and we're not done yet at this level we should know how to simplify it one more time which is negative square root 39 over 13 that's the answer